If Ukraine's air defenses run out of ammunition, that would allow Russian heavy bombers to operate at medium altitudes over Ukraine, to a significant disadvantage for Kiev. Hundreds of missiles were fired at us, we were able to shoot down about 70 to 80 percent of them, said Colonel Yuri Ignat of the Ukrainian Air Force. Meanwhile, Kiev was preparing to receive the systems. Hawk air defense systems, including six from Spain. Meanwhile, Major General Kirillo Budanov, head of Ukraine's military intelligence service, said Russia has enough ammunition for several major attacks. Russia began conducting weekly airstrikes on vital Ukrainian infrastructure from October 10. Mr. Ignat called the recent skirmishes between Russia and Ukraine a game of cat and mouse when Kiev move and hide air defense systems to avoid detection while Moscow looks for weak points in Ukraine's air defense network. However, ammunition medicines and spare equipment for Ukraine's S-300 and Buck systems, the main weapons of the country's air defense forces are in decline. Ukrainian officials confirmed information from British intelligence that Russia was launching X-55 nuclear missiles with nuclear warheads replaced by dummy warheads to deplete Ukraine's ammunition. The Ukrainian side also said that it is impossible to buy more missiles for the S-300 and Buck from Russia, which produces these munitions. Finding available supplies in the global market is also not easy. The Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, warned last month of Western indifference to demand. Urgent in boosting Ukraine's air defense capabilities. The institute also said that if Kiev's surface-to-air systems run out of ammunition, that will allow Russian heavy bombers to operate at medium and high altitudes over Ukraine, causing significant disadvantage for the country. The G7 leaders pledged on December 12 to continue to work together to meet the urgent requirements of the Ukrainian military, with the focus right now on the supply of Ukraine. Air defense systems. Some observers say that, even if Russia's cruise missile arsenal is depleted, the country still possesses a large number of ballistic missiles. Russian suicide bombers targeted Ukrainian infrastructure. Although this weapon is noisy, slow and can be easily shot down, it will be difficult for the enemy to destroy all UAVs when they are deployed on a daily basis. In addition, these UAVs are also much cheaper than the missiles used to intercept them. Oleksiy Melnik, a former lieutenant colonel in the Ukrainian Air Force, is now the director of Think Ta. NK The Razumkov Center in Kiev believes that although Ukraine's air defenses have improved a lot since Russia launched a military operation in late February, trying to guess when Russia will run out of missiles is probably not a suitable strategy. Ukraine. Another loud explosion occurred in Kiev, air raid sirens sounded throughout the capital. Two witnesses of Reuters news agency said they heard a loud explosion in the capital Kiev, Ukraine, on the morning of December 14. According to the source, there is currently no official information on the cause of the explosion. However, maps from emergency services show that the capital Kiev and the surrounding area were alerted by air raid sirens about 20 minutes before the explosions. Mr. Oleksiy Kuliba, governor according to Sputnik news agency, Russia began airstrikes on Ukrainian infrastructure on October 10, two days after accusing Ukraine of terrorist attacks. The Crimean Bridge ceased operations due to missile attacks. Since then, airstrikes have been issued almost daily throughout the regions of Ukraine. For his part, Ukraine's energy minister Herman Halashenko confirmed the force. Russian forces destroyed all of Ukraine's thermal power plants after large-scale raids on the country's energy infrastructure. Minister Halashenko all thermal power plants were destroyed by Russian missiles and 44 high-voltage transmission lines lost power. Speaking on December 13, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said 12 million Ukrainians are living there as a power outage and this country needs emergency generator.